what I, what I was listening to him, you know, talking about passion. And there's a lot of very passionate people. I'm a very passionate person, passionate communicator. And I can remember just as many times that that passion and that passionate communication put me in a bad place, a, a deficit. You know, just because you're passionate about something doesn't equal truth or doesn't equal right or doesn't equal wrong. You know, we need to be, you know, that the same passion of one's making a decision to screw their life up can be used to go in the complete other direction. Passion is not a problem. Passion is a good thing. But we have to be willing to be aware of who we are in the middle of the passion. Because the passion is the emotion that makes us lose track and then our body starts passionate about something, even if it's something that you think you heard or something that you think you know or something that you think you want, but then just be just as, in, in the same step, be just as passionate about then receiving and hearing and seeing another perspective. And that mastery is what equates to infinite possibilities. Letting yourself down because you were so passionate about something because you thought you knew something and then, you know, it's like the beat down. And it takes so long to come back. We have to be as passionate about knowing as not knowing. And really, it would be better to be on the side of not knowing than knowing. Like I passionately do not know, but I'm so grateful for the moment that I'm willing, that I want to receive. Not just, uh, I, I don't know nothing. You know, we know someone who did that many a conversations. That was his go-to. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know nothing. And that's not that receiving place either we've got to not know but still be open to knowing what we don't know and be passionate about the fact that we may never know but not allowing that to collapse the possibility in our life of knowing 